let's look at graphing a line. For example, let's graph this line here. 4x minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. Now there are a few different approaches to graphing a line. The first approach is to find two points on the line Plot these points and then connect them with a straight line. And the easiest points to find are the x and y intercepts if they exist. So let's start with the x intercept. To find the x intercept, we set y equal to 0 in our equation, which gives us 4x minus 3 times 0 plus 6 is equal to 0, which means that 4x is equal to negative 6, or x is equal to negative 3 halves. So negative 3 halves is our x-intercept which means this point, negative 3 halves, 0, lies on our graph. And to find the y-intercept, we set x equal to 0 in our equation, which gives us 4 times 0 minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. Or negative 3y is equal to negative 6. Or y is equal to 2 which is our y-intercept, which means this point, 0, 2, also lies on our graph. All right, so let's plot these points. So let's say that this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. Let's say this is 1 and 2, and this is negative 1, negative 2. Our x-intercept is here at negative 3 halves. That is, this is the first point. Negative 3 halves, 0. And our y-intercept is 2. So this is our second point here. 0, 2. And connecting these points with a straight line gives us the line we're looking for. All right, what about the second approach? We are still starting with the same equation, namely 4x minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. But with the second approach, we solve this equation for y. And the reason this will help us is because it's a fact that when we solve a linear equation for y and we get y is equal to mx plus b, then the coefficient of x here, or m, is the slope of the line. And this constant here, b, is its y-intercept. So let's solve our equation here for y. We have negative 3y is equal to negative 4x minus 6. And then dividing both sides by negative 3 gives us y is equal to negative 4x divided by negative 3 and then minus 6 divided by negative 3. Or y is equal to 4 thirds x plus 2. And comparing this, to this form, we see that m, or the slope, is 4 thirds, and b, or the y-intercept, is 2. But how are we going to use these facts to help us graph our line? Well, remember that if the slope is 4 thirds, then either the run is equal to 3, and the rise is equal to 4, or 
the run is equal to negative 3. And the rise is equal to negative 4. Because in either case, rise over run or the slope will be 4 thirds. So what we can do is plot our y-intercept of 2. So let's say this is the y-axis. And this is the x-axis. And let's say this is 1, 2. So here's our y-intercept at 2. And let's do it the second way here. Let's let the run be negative 3 and the rise be negative 4. So let's say that this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And this is negative 1, negative 2. And so from our y-intercept of 2, we go to the left, 3. and down 4. Which would land us on this point here of negative 3, negative 2. And connecting these points here gives us the graph of our line, which is the same line from the first approach. And in fact, this point here the x-intercept is the negative 3 halves that we just saw. All right, and these are two different approaches to graphing lines. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.